Okay. So the Source of Wars thing happens. That set the tone. Hit him up happens. Mm -hmm. That really made it clear mm -hmm. in terms of the lines mm -hmm. that were set. Mm -hmm. And then at long last, you guys actually run into each other at the Soul Train Awards. Yes. You're there. Yes. What actually happened when you guys ran into each other? Um, when we first got to L.A., right, because it was beef. We knew we had beef, right? So rap beef. Because we didn't, I didn't take any of these rappers seriously, right? But I was there to make sure that nobody did anything to big, right? Mm -hmm. So when we land, we, we, Jacob puts together a itinerary. And it's, we're always security first because we're from the streets. The way we move, we, this is big. We got to protect big, right? At all costs, right? Uh, we land in L.A. with our itinerary. Puff meets us at the airport. He says to me, "On you take everybody else and y'all go to your hotel. Big's going to go with me. I said, no, Puff. Big's going to go with me. And you tell me what time Big has to be at the Soul, at the Soul Train Awards, and I'll have him there, right? He, he argued uh, for us. Big knew I'm in charge. So we leave Puff, <laughs> right? Morning of the Source uh the Soul Chain Awards. We get there, Big's backstage, his shoes is too small. <laughs> I get in a limo, just go outside randomly, get in someone's limo, and I go searching all in 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 South Central LA looking for a size 13 triple E shoe for big. <laughs> right? I by the time I get back with these shoes, big is coming down in the cage. Right? And I'm saying, well, what shoes do he got on? And then I realize he got on security shoes and he's on the back heels of them, right? After the show, we, we, we're in the audience, right? And all of a sudden, I'm looking around, and I see a bunch of bloods had us surrounded. Bunch of bloods, right? They were seated all strategically around us. I'm saying, fuck. Yo, y'all know how we moving. We done went prep this thing already, how we getting up out of here. So all of a sudden... It, the show's over. It's time for us to go. We're outside like everybody else waiting for their limos. All of a sudden, I look around. Outside of the gate, it's a bunch of bloods. <laughs> right? They outside the gate. I'm saying, fuck. All of a sudden, we see these two hummers pull into the parking lot. Tupac is in the window. <laughs> Yelling out the window, hanging out the window. Yeah, west side, best side. So everybody go in the motion. I do what I do. I step in front of Big, right? Because you got to kill me before you get to Big, right? You got to kill all my niggas before you even get to me and Big. Got to stand in there with, he pulls out the gun. Shug's the person you shoot first. You tell him that. Yes. So now all of a sudden, Suge starts saying he got a strap. He starts telling on Gutter. I'm looking at Suge like, this nigga's telling. You, all of a sudden, he's not the big Suge Knight anymore, right? Because this is my really first encounter. I'm not taking Tupac serious because I'm saying these guys are friends. Him and C's are arguing. Right? He's like, get out my face, C's. C's like this, but he banging back at Tupac. And I'm saying, and I'm just standing in front of Big like this. Right? So all of a sudden, I hear somebody and I hear my brother just calling me. And I turn around. Jacob and them done got Big, everybody in the limo. And I'm standing there just looking at Shug like, I can't believe you just did that. Don Cornelius came outside and said, I don't give a fuck what limo y'all get in. I think we got in like Barry White's limo and, <laughs> and Teddy Raleigh's limo and we found all that shit and we, we went right to the airport. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what the plan was. Leave the saucer was. 
while we on the source or I mean on our way to the airport, we hear Tupac and Sugar on the radio talk about they just ran us out of LA. And we like, no, that was a part of our plan. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I was there and it, it we that's what we did. We got big home safe. You know, every 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 experience. When we left in those limos, we our itinerary, we was getting ready to go do AT, a, a, a and t in Greensboro, North Carolina. So we had a nine o'clock flight booked. We was already booked to leave up out of there. Mm -hmm. So we made our way to the airport, you know, so we didn't get ran out of L.A. You know, everybody changes the story based on their experiences. Like I said, at that moment, we were all just looking at Tupac like, Pac, what is this act? You know, because it's it's funny because everybody says that, you know, I was around big, right? I was responsible for this kid. Financially, we was business partners, you know, it, but I, I would, I've I never met Tupac. I was going to meet Tupac the night in that studio because we just so happened to be there and C said, yo, Tupac's downstairs. And I'm like, okay. I'm going to meet this kid for the first time, right? Because I've heard about him. Big used to talk about him. Yo, wait till you meet Pop. He a good dude. Bah, oh, bah. You know, and I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I, I knew him from Juice and, and Digital Underground. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, Pop. You know, so. But it was it was the sort. That day was, was the beginning of me. Um really starting to take it serious about LA, right? Because it was, they showed me that they were in control, right? They could have, they could have done something to us if they wanted to do it, right? We were, we were outgunned, we were outmanned, but we were, you know, like, 300, like we was ready to die to get him out of there. So, you know, but those are the things that, you know, in hindsight, you know,